Getting into our Psalms today, which paints a very remarkable picture of God's presence, which is pretty interesting against the backdrop of what's going on in the world right now between Russia and Ukraine. Russia boasts of this mighty military, you think big tanks, nuclear warheads, but all of that pales in comparison to God when God makes his presence known. So we're getting into it now. Psalms chapter 8, verses, I'm sorry, Psalms chapter 18, verses 8 through 17. Smoke went out of his nostrils, and fire from his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down with thick darkness under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and flew, and he sped upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him passed his thick clouds, hailstones and coals of fire, The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered His voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out His arrows and scattered them, and lightning flashes in abundance, and routed them. Then the channels of water appeared, and the foundations of the world were laid bare at Your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of Your nostrils. Wow, so that's a pretty incredible picture if you think about it. The natural order bends and breaks at God's presence. And it's no wonder why man falls on his face whenever God enters the picture. You think about the different biblical narratives. Man could never look God in the face. They're always falling down on their face and worshiping God because they cannot even bear to look at God. That's how holy God is. At any rate, when we compare the Almighty to someone like Vladimir Putin, those Russian tanks don't seem so bad after all, right? Today's reading then concludes that while God's awe-inspiring presence is indeed earth-shattering, God still saves his children. In this case, it was David. He sent from on high. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. So while our enemies might seem strong and mighty, God is infinitely superior. If we look at the second coming, Christ wipes them out with a breath of his mouth. That's it. You look at Second Thessalonians chapter 2, that breaks all of that down. So we are again reminded that while man woefully thinks that he's all that, and he's God in his own mind, like some of these leaders out there in the world right now, God is and always will be. Man comes and goes and is forgotten, but God reigns forever. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care and God bless.